Yeah. New York. New? Like like your ring. Nice. Who's this? It's a nice ring. Where are you from? Senegal. Where are you going? New York. Thank you, sir. And you? Senegal. Where are you going? New York. Thank you. <laughs> this guy. This guy. You see the Where are you from? Senegal. Where are you going? Ohio. Ohio. Thank you, sir. And you? Senegal. Where are you going, sir? Ohio. Thank you. And you? Senegal. Where are you going? New York. Thank you. And you? Senegal. Where are you going? New York. You Senegal. bad. Senegal. Ah, you. <laughs> ah, this guy was. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no, no. Uh. Yeah, this guy was doing that. Ah, uh, ah, uh. ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah. Where are you from? Where are you going? Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I gotta tell you guys, it is getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse for the Biden administration and the border, okay? While we are so focused on protecting other people's borders, our border is literally being invaded. We're being invaded, okay? I'm honestly, I'm sick and tired of this, right? I'm actually, like, honestly, I'm about to lose my mind over this southern border situation because... Our politicians really do not give a damn about us. They don't care about what's happening at the southern border, no matter how bad it gets, right? They, 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 they just refuse to do anything about it, right? As we have another major wave of illegals coming to the country, claiming asylum, even though, it, in my opinion, is <laughs> these are not really refugees. These are asylum seekers these are people that just want to take advantage of the fact that they know that the alleged commander-in-chief of the united states doesn't care if they come in in fact they actually are just letting them in right um yeah so again we have a new migrant caravan making its way across mexico before reaching the united states as you can see here right here they are United States. Now, again, a lot of these are military age men, right? Um, young men, just like I showed you at the beginning of this video of these guys right here, right? Who, again, these, these people from like Senegal, okay? Uh, Africa, right? This is a global problem, okay? And these people are just going through the border. And then once they get through the border, they're going anywhere they want in the United States, right? And uh, that's what's happening. Now, apparently, this is being coordinated in regards to what's going on in, in, in Latin America by some of these Latin American countries who are taking advantage of Joe Biden. Remember how they sent Kamala Harris down there to solve the key issues of immigration, right? Apparently... These countries have been playing the Biden administration in the sense that they've been uh, trying to use the immigration crisis to get things out of the United States, right? They want to get funding. They want to get aid. They want to get money out of the United States, uh, pretending that they are trying to stem uh, the migrants coming to the border. But that's actually not what's happening. What they're doing is that they're taking the money from the United States. They're taking the resources and then they're sending more illegals because that means that they can just ask for more from the United States. And then our politicians turn around and tell us that, well, the illegals are coming because of climate change. Right? This is what they're saying. But that's just not the, that's just not the case. OK, so this guy, uh, Irino Mujica, uh, who's a leader of one of these massive caravans, is actually going to talk about how. This is a coordinated invasion of the United States, and Biden is allowing it. It is really eye-opening stuff to listen to this guy explain what's actually happening. So let's let's, uh, let's go ahead and play this clip. Now, the Biden administration has been, in a way, completely incompetent with immigration policies that they are 
portray to be human, but they're completely on the opposite, on the contrast, they're inhuman of what is happening right now in South America, Central America, and in the North Border, your perception about that. I believe that uh, the, the Biden administration has uh, dropped the ball. Immigration, uh, a lot of the countries are fueling, the, are, are actually this uh, crisis, immigration crisis is not a crisis that is uh, about, it is a lot of the people are being, uh, you know, harsh conditions, but a lot of the countries are, are fueling this immigration by, by providing in a way, a, transporting people, letting people in and, and using them as a, as a way to all the, all the people that are working with uh, Lopez Obrador to make sure that a lot of this immigration goes straight into the United States. Do you think that is immigration is being weaponized? Definitely, that definitely is being weaponized against the United States, against the Joe Biden administration. Joe Biden administration has, uh, has lost the ball, has lost the power and, and America has has not been paying attention to what's happening. Mexico is being uh, used, usually ganging up with all the countries to make sure that all this immigration goes straight into the United States. And, and that's that's what it is. I mean, I, I went through the Darien. I went to, since Panama, I was out, it was close to 7,000. And all those people went through. And after that, every country has been just providing their rights, charging them 20, 30 or 40 dollars and then just pushing them in, pushing them in all the way to the Mexican border. Then when you get to the Mexican border, you don't have the mass reportation. All they do is just hold them up, hold them up and weaponize them and let them go. And believe? make sure that they, they Joe Biden gives them money. But as an American citizen, I would say do not give Mexico or any of those countries that are completely responsible with immigration, given zero cents. And the Joe Biden administration has lost the ball, has lost does not know what to do with immigration, has been visa and other thing, and has lost a lot of the power or hasn't even called the countries into sitting down and make sure that he finds a way to, to stop this immigration, this bleeding. He Again, this is supposed to be Kamala's job, right? This is supposed to be Kamala's job. Kamala went down there to Central America, Latin America, to, again, discuss the core causes of immigration, which, again... They, they said it was climate change. Now, they've changed the narrative and they say it's, it's um, you know, it's uh, it's destabilization. Well, it's because the United States is oppressive and, you know, we toppled the dictators there and we've destabilized their economies. You know, you know what they say. You know the narrative. But all the while, what's really happening is that these people are getting played. And honestly, I'm not even sure if they're getting played because I think they want this, right? I think they want this. I think that this is what they want. They want the cheap labor. They want the future Democrat Party voters. And who knows? Who knows? There, there could be something even more sinister at play here because all the people being let in at the border are not just from Latin America, but they're from around the world. And we are opening ourselves up to potential acts of violence, okay, uh, at the hands of individuals who have ideologies coming, ideologies coming into this country that aren't necessarily friendly to the United States. And then when something happens, we'll be gearing up to go to war again, okay? Or it will be used to suppress people's freedoms. So again, you know, I, I'm not sure exactly what's going on here outside of the fact that, you know, the Biden administration is either doing this on purpose or they're extremely incompetent. But again, at this point, we don't have a choice but to send the military to the border, we have to secure the board. We need to finish building the wall. We need to invest in the best technology that we have to keep the illegals out of the country. We're not accepting any more asylum seekers. We're done. We've, we've accepted all the asylum seekers that we can. We're done. I'm sorry. You got to, you know, start a new life in Mexico. Start a new life in one of these other countries down there. You can't do it here. Okay. Because again, is that the point now where people are taking advantage of it? They're just coming here saying, oh, well, you know, I'm seeking asylum. And it, look, I feel bad for the people that actually are. But don't blame us. Blame the people that are taking advantage of the system to the point where our system has been overwhelmed. And now we can't do it anymore because we literally cannot stomach having more illegals in this country. We've had millions of illegals come in this country, a lot of whom undocumented in the sense that we literally don't even know who they are. We have no clue to even cross the border in the first place. They're in this country. And we got to deal with that issue. We need to have mass deportations. And until we have these things, until we fix these things, 
We can't take any more. And even after that, we need to have a long pause, right? We need to have a long pause on immigration, to be quite honest with you, because, again, we can't take any more. We, we, we're at a breaking point in this country. It's, it's, it, it's a shame. It really is. It pisses me off, man, because I, I feel like, honestly, both parties don't care, man. As much as I want to rag on the Democrats, I'm, all, I'm watching the Republicans care more about other countries than they care about the border. And that's pissing me off, too. Because I'm not even sure if Trump wins and we have a Republican House or Republican Senate, I can't promise you that they're going to close the border. Now, don't get me wrong. They do have border legislation, but they pass it knowing that the Senate is not going to take it up. So, again, when you actually have the power to do what we need to do to close the border and to fix immigration, are you actually going to do it? They didn't do it when Trump was in office. When Trump wanted to do it, a lot of these Republicans pushed back against Trump building the wall. So again, I, I don't have much faith, guys. I really don't. I'm sorry. Because unfortunately, business interests run this country. Illegal immigration is good for business. Okay? And as long as corporate interests are running uh, America, uh, you're going to continue to see it. You're going to continue to see it. Because the cheap labor, okay, for, for them is more important than the security of this country. He has, he's just lost the ball. He's not doing anything. And, and I am a human rights defender for almost 70 years. And I tell you, I never seen it worse. And it's not because this is, this is, this is not normal. This is being used by the countries to make sure they get what they want from the United States. And, and Joe Biden has lost. I, I'm, I'm completely stunned. How come, where's the American intelligence? Don't they know that the, all the countries are conspiring against the United States to make sure they have this crisis? being made so they can charge for that crisis they make the the baby now they're trying to they sell it and now the, the most the, the ones that are benefiting out of this humanitarian crisis because it looks like it's a business city you know from eating from from south america it from, from the outside the darien make people are making money out of migrants Definitely. and 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 not only that the cartels are the ones that the first ones that they are making a lot of money about the migrants there were seven thousand people on one on one day before the Darien, which is, uh, is one of the places in Colombia. Do you think Petro is really care about the United States when, when this, this makes in one day 7,000 people paying 500, 300, 800? Of course he makes more money with the, with the cartels, the cartel de Sinaloa, than, than all the, the, the power the United States might give him. He doesn't care about, he, he doesn't care what the United States think. He's, he's conspiring with the United States, uh, Mexico, to make sure that the United States gave him 60,000 millions once. I don't know how, much, how many millions Obrador was trying to charge the United States, but definitely it's not humane what they're doing because they're charging that blood, that, that suffering of the migrants. They're trying to sell it to the United States when the United States has lost the ball. Definitely Joe Biden has a lot to learn. I think it, the policies of Joe Biden are, are, are worse than the ones of Trump because uh, Trump at least knew what to say to make sure that he doesn't fuel immigration. He, he didn't lose the ball that they're all the countries. He, 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 the United States has lost the respect of all the countries. Obrador has more power to pull them in and make sure he, he gets what he wants from the United States. Facts. Facts, bro. Facts. They don't respect us. But again, this is what we were sold. We were sold. Oh, well, the other countries in, in the world will respect us once Trump is out of office because Trump is bad. Nah, bro. They respected the hell out of Trump. Because they know Trump won't plan. Trump is not playing. But, they, but there's no way you can respect a man like Biden. Who we don't even know. Like he's not there. How can you respect him? You damn sure don't, can't respect cackling Kamala. The only way this happens is when we're not respected. When they, they know that you're you are suckers. Right? We're suckers. We got suckers that are running this country. We're going to take your money, right? Tell you that, oh, yeah, we'll stop the illegals from coming. We'll, we'll, we'll help. But but you got to understand, it's, it's tough. It's tough because, you know, it, you know, there's so many of them, right? It's tough, but we'll take your money. Our stupid politicians run back to our country and say, well, they're coming because of climate change, right? We're trying our best. We're trying our best. Meanwhile, Again, it's a whole business down there in Latin America for them to send the illegals to the border. Whole bit, they're getting rich and taking the U.S. money. Taking the illegals' money that want the rods and to facilitate them going to the border. 
right? And then taking the United States money uh, to stop it when they're not, they're not even going to do that, right? So again, it's, it's crazy, man. And it's embarrassing. But again, this is what you get when you vote Democrat incompetence. Idiots, fools. And guess who suffered? The American people suffer because of it. Country being invaded. We're going to be a third world country. New York City is going to be a third world city. Chicago is going to be a third world city. You already said it. You already said they're going to be Latin American cities in 20, 30 years. I promise you. Going to, going to New York is going to be like going to Medellin. Right? Chicago is, Chicago is going to be... Chicago is going to be... You know, I don't know, Guadalajara or something, right? Mexico City, <laughs> that's what it's going to be. Because <laughs> this, this is what's happening. I'm, I'm, I'm just, wow. I'm, my, I'm just, wow. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.